can actually pull the shell off. Taking the coconut meat, which looks great, set it here. Because I'm gonna actually rinse it off. I guess I should have grabbed a bowl there. The bowl probably worked better. Let's see if I can switch that with a bowl. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna continue to take this off. Just pulling the meat from the shell. Look at, it's coming off pretty easy though. This is, it must be the video. It's making it come off this easy because I'm not gonna lie to you. Normally it's a little harder than this. Okay, so there's gonna be some pieces of shell on it. And keep in mind that sometimes there's little bits of brown on here. That's no big deal. If you don't want the brown on there, you can take your blade and you can cut some of it off, like so. Just like you're peeling like potato or something. And I ask you, please be careful because these blades can be a little sharp. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna break it up and put it into the bowl. So that's the coconut meat. So looking at things, let me put this shell here. We have coconut meat here, which is used to make coconut milk, which is also water and coconut meat together, which is coconut milk. And then we have the coconut water here, which was inside of the coconut. Something cool about the coconut water is it's uh, very low in fat and it's actually made of about 94% water. That's the water going into the coconut. And it's got several nutrients in there. Um, and it also has antioxidant properties to it. It's been known to help against diabetes, kidney stones, and even reduce blood pressure. So, you know, that's very good for heart health, this. So something I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this coconut meat and rinse it off here. Real good. making sure and if it's any check for any shell that might be left on it I love coconut meat I'm not gonna lie to you I've been known to take the coconut meat and turn it into little chips and eat it you can dry it out a lot of people I know mush it up and use it for skin lotion on there uh, I love to cook with it very good to cook with gives my meat a great taste so I'm taking the blade here and I'm just cutting off, probably could have used a better blade, cutting off the excess like um, shell that might be stuck to it. I don't really care about the brown part on there. And something to note is when you make your coconut milk, if it's got brown on the outside, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have brown in your coconut milk. So keep that in mind. So just shaving off some of it, that's a little, darker only because I don't want to scare you guys have you wondering what in the world was his dark so and, and let me let me say this because I know people are going to ask okay what about just buying the coconut milk at the store so the store and I'm not speaking for every brand but I will say this coconut milk is made a percentage of coconut meat and a percentage of water so making it yourself, you get to decide what that percentage is when you're making the coconut milk. Now, if I were a store or, or some type of a chain store or selling a product, it might be more beneficial to me to make it a lot of water, less coconut, add some sugar, add some vanilla extract and call it a day, right? But making it from home knowing exactly what it is you're putting in your body so you know why your body is functioning a certain way why if uh your, your appetite is not as high as it used to be which is one of the benefits here um it's been known to reduce your appetite um and that's with some studies for myself i love it because you know we can't eat too many sweets and it's 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 a natural sweetener like it, it tastes great once you put this if you put it in your oatmeal you don't need any sugar you don't need honey in your oatmeal once you put this in there and now every once in a while if you want the benefits of honey go ahead and add some 
and I'm just cutting just cutting out what I see is darker spots of it and this looks to be a small eye in there I'm not the best cutter don't laugh at me but we're gonna get it together so now that I've rinsed it off rinsed off my coconut I'm over here I'm using a ninja the 1500 watt ninja and I'm taking this coconut and I'm gonna drop it in here but I'm gonna to try to break it up a little bit into pieces and keep in mind and, and so for measurement purposes okay now coconuts come in different sizes I normally put an entire coconut in and I put one bottle of water just a small bottle of water um other times I put two coconuts in and some water you know one bottle of water try it out see how you like it see if you like it because you may not like it um and adjust as necessary so what I'm gonna do here I'm doing that I put that in there and I'm gonna take my water add some of this in there I'll do probably about halfway for now so half the water we're looking at about two cups of coconut we'll see how it goes so it should be nice and thick and we will add more water as necessary so it's locked cut it on we're just going to blend add some more water to it just the rest of the bottle so this is the way I like mine so I'm going to show it to you and that was pretty easy the steps with it right setting it up so now there's a little bit of coconut on the top here so I'm going to take that out. I don't mind that in my drink Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. So when are they gonna come out with smell -o vision Because if you could smell this. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. And see, I'm one of those that I like the little chewy parts in them. Delicious. So that's how you make it. Make sure you blend it. You blend it to whatever level you want to. We can keep blending, which will take it into a just liquefied pretty much all the way. Um, right now, it's pretty much two parts water, one part coconut for it. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to also, if you, if you check out my other videos, I'm going to show you what I do with the coconut meat as far as the cooking goes. And uh, with, with my meal preps and also with the coconut water. <laughs> I can't get rid of this because this is what I use after a workout. After a workout, I use it for the electrolytes, which is better than water. Uh, plenty, plenty of uh, tests have shown that. And it also helps with nausea. So if you get that nauseated feeling after working out, you take this. And then one thing you do is you put a little bit of peach in there into the coconut water. And you got yourself a delicious drink, all from one coconut. Remember that. Enjoy you. Enjoy life and enjoy fitness in that order. If you don't mind giving me a like or uh, subscribing to the channel, that would be great. And please be sure to tell everybody about the channel because we're trying to build it up. Thank you.